Welcome back, everybody. Are you wondering what to make for dinner tonight? Yeah. <laughs> You're looking for a every suggestion. Night. Yeah. Every night, this is what we ask at our house. What's for dinner? What are yeah. we going to make tonight? Well, you're in luck, because today, Rainya is here with the answer. Only this dinner idea is maybe more for special occasions, probably not your regular weeknight meals. Here's Rainya coming to us from her kitchen with today's recipe. Good morning, everybody. Well, welcome to week three of breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert. So today is all about dinner. I am going to be grilling filet mignon on my indoor grill and making an incredible bacon mushroom cream sauce with shallots to pour over the filet mignon. Now, first things first, we've got the filet and I have here, I would say these are six ounce pieces of the center cut, not seasoned. You want to season them when they come off the grill because the salt will draw out the moisture or the juice. So you want to make sure here that you put them on and season them later. And I did put a little olive oil on here only because of the absence of fat in the filet mignon. Now, setting that aside, what I have here is bacon. And I had to get this started. And I have three to four pieces of a thick sliced bacon. And it's very important that you render the fat from the bacon because you're going to need it to saute the shallots. Now, this still won't be quite enough fat, so I am going to add a little bit of butter here, and probably just another little tiny bit here of olive oil so that we can get started. I have four shallots here, and again, what I did was I chopped them, but I did not dice or mince them. They should have some nice size to them because this is a key in ingredient in this particular sauce. So in go the shallots because we do want them to soften and almost caramelize. Okay, folks, now as you can see, my shallots are softening, but they're not completely done, but before I complete this process, I do want to add in some sliced cremini mushrooms. These are the belly, baby bella mushrooms. And once again, I don't want little tiny pieces. I really want this to have some substance and some depth. A lot of the juice from the mushroom has, again, rendered, before we add in the next ingredient, which is heavy cream. <laughs> Oh, what could be bad about this recipe? While my mushrooms and my shallots are cooking with the bacon, let's give our filet a flip. And you can see this is getting nice and brown. Really important, don't over grill the filet. You will dry it out. You really want it to be an internal temperature of no more than 130 degrees for medium rare. Mushrooms are cooked pretty well here. Let's add in, I would say, a half of a cup of heavy cream. The whole idea here is to reduce this. It'll thicken naturally on its own. And at this point, I would like to season this with some salt and pepper. Our fillets are ready to remove from the grill. And what we're going to do now is we're going to season them with the salt and the pepper. There's a lot of flavor going on in the sauce, so you don't have to overdo it. Now I made a little risotto with some spring vegetables. I'm going to pile the filet right on top. I'm going to add my gorgeous sauce on top of that. And then, oh, I have some carrots here for some color. And one last thing, I'll make you stand up. Just a little bit of parsley. We are set, we are ready. You've got dinner. Well, love you, miss you. Wish you were here, wish I was there, and bon appetit. You oh, wish I you have, were here too, Rainia. I have never wished to be with Rainia more than <laughs> right now. That was quite a meal. That yeah. looks really good. Are you gonna good. try to make that tonight? No. Okay. 
Yeah. So I will be making. It's really kind of a special occasion kind of thing. Yeah, I'll be making a takeout order. That's what uh, I'll be that's doing so tonight. so smart. <laughs> I'm so tired already. I can't even <laughs> think about cooking dinner. All right, for a copy, a copy of today's recipe, go to PittsburghTodayLive.com. We have it posted for you there.